Welcome back everyone to the AI Children's Book Creator. This is an instruction manual video, just a new instruction manual, just because it keeps upgrading and keeps becoming better and better. And so we've decided to create a brand new manual to show you how to get from the point of creating the book all the way to the point where you have a book which actually has bleed in it and will literally upload to Amazon with no problems at all. Now to get started, we're gonna just go straight to our website and just demonstrate the new options. And we've recently released a brand new option, which is the One Click AI Children's Story Creator, which is only possible to use if you have over 40 or 50 credits. So there's no point of even trying to use this until you have that kind of credits. Also, I only suggest you use this when you really trust the system already. So if you're just getting started, I can recommend either the automatic or the custom mode. Let's start with the custom mode just to demonstrate it. So when you click on custom mode, you get by, you get some options for characters that you can choose for your story. You can choose between this, this and this. Alternatively, you can upload your own character, meaning of the face of your own child or somebody you know. So for example, I could use a photo of this girl, for example, or I could use a photo of my real daughter, which I have a picture of somewhere down here, for example, this or this. Anything would work for this and it will actually create a story based off that character, which is absolutely unbelievable when you think about that as a possibility. Once you've selected your character, your next step is to either write a storyline or a topic, for example, eating healthy, for example, don't worry about spelling. And then you click the magic wand, which will rewrite that into a storyline. A young child discovers the joy of eating healthy foods and teaches their friends to make nutritious choices. Alternatively, you could just completely remove this and just click this and then it will come up with a storyline of something completely different. Uh, for example, be it a having a fear of something, being scared, whatever it happens to be. Uh, so that's for that. Now, to create a book name, you can either think or just press this button here, and then it will come up with a book name which is appropriate for this storyline. Now, I highly recommend using a person, like for example, um, Joanna, for example, and then that way you can um, you, you can then have a consistent person in the book and make sure it matches the picture. So if it's a girl here, make sure you have a girl's name here and then make sure you also select girl over here just so that the images come up uh, in the right way and they don't get a boy instead of a girl. Now the reading age is estimated so you're just telling the AI roughly what age to make the book for. Now all of these options, once you select the number of pages you want to use, so let's just use this example, just do five pages and then click generate your story, what you'll find is that it will create the pages for the book and it will just write them one at a time. And as you can see, I forgot to mention about the writing style. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is gonna be the entire story of five pages. Then you create the five images by clicking this button here. But that's not what I wanted to show you. What I really wanted to show you is the automatic function and the one-click function. And this is gonna be very helpful for you when you're on your journey to create some books. So the way to do it, you click on automatic mode. It's quite intuitive. You will be given about five to 10 options of different book names with a lesson to be learnt. Now, obviously with the custom mode, you can completely just decide exactly what you want the book to be about. You can also select your writing style by writing in here. This is all, this all can be done in the custom mode where you can really give your book a feel. And to change the writing style, you either type it in this box uh, or you can just click on this button and have a writing style which is set for every book automatically so you won't have to keep creating it over and over again. So if I've decided that all my books are gonna be written in first person, I just write that in this box, click save, and that's it. Now when I click on, um, on this button in order to select a storyline, uh, for example, let's take um, a story about Emily and the magic brush, a lesson in sharing. If I click on that now, it will pick a girl for me and it will just fill in all the blank details. And of course, my writing style in here is going to be first person, for example. Now, just for the example, I'm going to select uh, seven pages for this book and we'll make it for children aged four, around four, and then create your storybook. And the reason why I've cho chosen seven pages is because I wanna try and get through this instruction manual much, much more quickly and simply so that you can see how quickly you can create a book of your own 
and have it published. So as you can see, the AI has gone quite crazy and written very long pages, which is great, but I prefer pages with less text, but it doesn't matter. Let's just click on the generate for seven images button, and then it will start generating the seven images, one for each uh, of the pages. So this is what's gonna happen right now. Now the images are gonna start being generated. That's step two. So step one is just filling these details in and deciding what you want the book to be about or clicking the automatic button or of course pressing this button. Step two is clicking generating the images and it generates all the images. It takes a few seconds to generate the images. Once that's done, we will go on to the next step which is to put text on images automatically using AI. So here's the first page. Uh, if Okay, now I'll give you some instructions about these images. Now, if you like these images, then that's perfect. You're going to be fine. You can just use them and carry on. But if for whatever reason they don't match your, your requirements, you can always regenerate by pressing, for example, this wand over here. Uh, and additionally, if you want to change the prompt that was used to create this image, you click the eye icon here, and then you have the prompt of what, what was used to create this image. So if you change this, it will create a different image. So for example, if I want to standing in front of, let's say the beach, for example, and I click save, and then I regenerate, you'll see that now the, this image will be this same girl standing in front of the beach. Let's just see that happen right now. But while we're waiting for that to happen, it takes about a minute, we'll look at the other images and you can see how the character is consistent throughout the book. You have the same character and she doesn't change between images and that's very important. Character consistency is something that we've really worked hard on to make sure that you get a book which is actually usable and sellable on Amazon. So while these are just being created, let's just wait. So now all the images have been created. Let's have a look at the beach photo. So here's the beach photo. She is standing in front of the beach. You can see that this is what exactly what it was created for me just because I changed this prompt. If you ever find really a lot of difficulty getting the exact picture you want, just press this button here. Uh, clicking this tree will mean that the images you create will be un from a unique branch. This means that it can com create a completely unique image from the rest of the images. Only use this function if you can't seem to get the correct look with the tree being orange. But we, we always prefer for the tree to be orange just so that her look will always be similar to her look in all the other images. So that's step two, creating the images. You can see you can get an e exactly what you want for your book. Perfect. Next step is clicking on the following. It's the text on image function. Now this is very recommended. We recommend you press this button and then what you'll find is it will take you automatically to a page where you can start automating the process of having text on top of your uh, images. So this is the original image and now the AI will process the images to make sure that it will put the text in the right place. Now to do this automatically all you need to do is switch this on. This is like a switch. If you switch this on the AI will now automatically place and resize the text automatically. It means you won't have to actually do anything. It will just place the text in the right place. So make sure these settings are to your liking before you start. I do recommend switching this off when you first start just to make sure everything is to your liking and that way we can then um, each, each image will have the kind of effect you want it to. So let's see what happens when it's done automatically. Just one second. So as you can see, the text is too big, but then it's automatically shrunk by the AI and put in the right place. So the AI recognizes that the best place for this text box is up here. So it automatically moved it up here. Now you can move it like this and then click save and then you're on to the next image, just like that. At this point, I think it's okay to oh, uh, switch on the automate with AI button uh, and then once you switch that on, you'll note that everything's basically done automatically for you, where the image pops up and then instantly you, you the text is shrunk and put in place. Everything's just done all automatically for you. So you don't have to actually do anything when it comes to this part of the uh, creation of the book. I know some people find this stuff daunting, but here you have five seconds, by the way, 
when the AI is doing it, you have five seconds to make any changes. So here I moved it a little bit up because it was a little bit overflowing. And those five seconds are critical. You really should sit in front of your computer while this is doing all the automation where it's putting the text in place because you know AIs are great, but they're not perfect. They're not human. They can't necessarily fix mistakes. So if you see the text is overflowing, use those five seconds wisely. So let me show you another example of that. So over here, the text has been moved to the top and it's overflowing again. So I'm moving it up. And as you can see, this text down here, you have five seconds to make any changes. And once you do that, you will make sure that your book is being created in the most quick and efficient way. And that way you can keep ahead of the competition and never ever, you know, be behind when it comes to creating content and making money online. So this is the automatic AI book creator. I didn't demonstrate in this video the one click um, AI book creator because I've already demonstrated it in other videos. Oh yes, I almost forgot that I want to show you how to actually create the file as well in this video just to make this a comprehensive video so that you can really use this, uh, this, this video as an instruction manual for this software. And I'll try and keep this as short as possible but at the same time giving you all the information that you need in order to successfully complete an entire book. So just bear with me here. This is the last page of the book. Once this one's done, we can go straight on to the, the, the actual file creation process. Very, very easy, very, very simple. It's gonna be a no-brainer. They're just moving the text to my liking. I think that's the last page. Once this is saved, it says, congratulations, Daniel, you've completed this book. To continue, please return to this page. So I'm gonna obviously click stop automation and I'm gonna click on that page to go back to the page where we came from originally. Now that we're back on this page, it takes you to the bottom. Your next step is to prepare images. It's been bolded to make things simple for you. Uh, you click on that. Now it's preparing image one out of seven. And while that's happening, I recommend you press book settings and then create an intro page and that's gonna create an intro page for the book, which you can then read while the images are being prepared. As you can see, this is a perfect intro page. It's got the H1 tags and it's got the H2 tags and of course, the description of the book. This, is, this description is actually perfectly written. You don't even have to look through it because it's, it's, it knows exactly what's in the book. It's been written in the most perfect way. You can regenerate by pressing this button and then it will rewrite this completely from scratch entirely. Perfect. Once you're happy, you click save changes and you wait for the images to be prepared. Once all images are prepared, you can then create your file. And that's going to be the last step of this video. So the way to know if an image has been prepared is if the green is red or green over here. As you can see, this one's red. Now it's green. That means that all our images are prepared. And what you'll see now is a new button which says compile. Uh, that's that button just appeared now because the preparation is complete. Now let's click on that button. And now we can see it's starting to create the book for us. So as you can see, it's it's already created the pages and it's doing one image at a time. We have to wait for this to finish. Once this is finished and you've got seven out of seven, in the meantime, what you could do is click on create a KDP listing with AI. That's gonna help you when it comes to actually filling in the gaps inside Amazon KDP. Once this is ready, you have a button here, which is gonna show you the actual listing itself. And you could just copy these keywords into KDP in order to use these, you can use these this information in the description of the book. This description is perfect for this book and it's definitely the, uh, the description that makes sense to put inside Amazon KDP. And once it's finished, as you can see, it's completely finished. You download this file. This is the advanced one. This is if you want bleed for your, uh, for your book. And by bleed, what I mean is that the images reach the tip of the, of the pages, as you can see in this specific file. So I recommend doing this now that this works perfectly. We've done quite a lot of testing for this. Download this file and once it downloads, you'll receive a file that looks, this is the file just downloaded. Now click on enable editing and then you'll find a file that has, please paste your book into this page and then move the intro to the page with boundaries. So this page has boundaries. This page has no boundaries. So what we're going to do is remove this text right here and then go and copy the entire contents of the book. And this is the only way we've managed to achieve this is to just highlight Control A or right click and click Select All and com copy everything. Then go into this file and then paste it into the second page, not the first page. Um, let's just paste that in right now. 
So there we go, perfect. Now what you want to do is just copy this text and then paste it into this box right here. Then you want to enlarge this a little bit because it does seem a bit small, uh, just not too big. And then move this up a little bit, just kind of fix it up a little bit to make it look nice. And as you can see, the copyright data has all been automated for you so that what you end up with is just a book that's ready to be submitted to Amazon with Bleed. Now, if I go now and do the following, if I um, click File, Save As, what I want to export as is a PDF file. And the reason for that is because Amazon will only allow you to have Bleed if you have a PDF file, interior, that's it. Now that it's finished, what usually happens when you save on Microsoft Word is that you get a file that looks something like this. This will be your front page, and these are all your interior pages. And that's it, this file will be accepted by Amazon, and on Amazon KDP, you have to select the 8.5 by 8.5 inch option and, and select a bleed with bleed and you have to select a high quality page with high quality color because that lets you do page uh, 24 page book now remember books have to be at least 24 pages so make sure you you fulfill that need of amazon kdp thank you for watching i was your host daniel give a like to this post if it helped you in any way and bye for now